When it comes to buying and selling NFTs, there are a few different marketplaces you can choose from. However, the biggest marketplace by miles is this one right here called OpenSea. That is OpenSea.io. I will actually include a link to this in the resources for ease, but OpenSea is by far the biggest platform out there. It is the market leader by far when it comes to NFTs. Some of the biggest and most popular collections to date have all been launched on OpenSea first. That includes really big collections such as CryptoPunks. You may have actually seen some of these images online on Facebook and Twitter. This was launched on OpenSea first and it was a very, very popular project. You can see in total, literally almost 800,000 Ethereum have been traded in total buying and selling these NFTs, which is absolutely insane. Another really big NFT collection is called Board 8 Yacht Club. This was also launched on OpenSea and is a very, very popular project. Again, you may have seen some of these monkeys and apes before. This was an NFT collection that was launched on OpenSea first. And once again, you can see there's over 330,000 Ethereum traded in total for this whole project. So all of the biggest and most popular projects, you're going to find all of them on OpenSea. And it's because it's the biggest marketplace out there. So if you want to take NFTs seriously, I highly recommend that you consider OpenSea. The platform has been around for a while now. They actually launched in 2018. But essentially in this video, what I want to do is go through the main user interface and show you exactly how to navigate your way around OpenSea. It's very straightforward and easy to use. It's also very, very user friendly, which is another reason why everyone seems to love this platform. Starting off at the top, you have a search bar. If you are aware of any collection which you'd like to browse NFTs for, you can simply go ahead and type in that collection. Maybe go for Crypto Ball Society maybe, that's a really big project. You can see this collection page in particular is verified, so we know this is definitely the right project and we're not going to buy any NFTs from another project which is maybe trying to imitate this collection right here as there are a lot of scams going on in the NFT world as you're going to find out later on in the course as I have a dedicated video going over all of the most common NFT scams out there so you can actually protect yourself and your money. Once you land on a collection page, you have four main metrics at the top. The first is items, which shows us how many items are in that collection or how many NFTs in total. We can see how many owners they are, so how many people actually own all of these items. In this instance, if we saw there were 8,000 items in total in the whole collection, and out of those 8,000 items, they were only owned by, let's say, 500 people, then you probably do not want to be getting involved with that project, as what that means is a lot of these 500 people could all of a sudden decide to sell their NFTs, and what that will do will have a big impact on how much you have to pay and how much you can get if you were to sell your NFT in this collection. That is the first two things, items and owners. The third thing is what we call the floor price. The floor price in layman's terms is basically the cheapest NFT in the whole collection. So if we go to buy now and turn on this filter and then go low to high, we can see the cheapest NFT for sale is 1.4 Ethereum. Then it goes up to 1.425, 1.44. So the cheapest NFT in the whole collection is 1.4. Now, you do have to double check this number a lot of times because sometimes OpenSea doesn't update this straight away. Sometimes this NFT will have already sold. If we open this up, just make sure it hasn't sold. We can see, yep, it's still available for buy now, but sometimes this would have sold, meaning the floor price has now changed from 1.4 to 1.425, which is actually 1.43. So that covers the floor price. And then a fourth and final metric, as I just ran through already when I showed you the CryptoPunks and the Board 8 Yacht Club. The last one is volume traded. And what this does is give you an overview of how much money has been spent within the whole collection on the whole. So at the time of recording, there has been 10,800 Ethereum spent on total buying and trading NFTs in this specific collection. OpenSea does have some really good filters you can use to find the exact NFT you are looking for. For example, let's imagine you are looking to buy a really rare NFT. Then what you can do is simply add the buy now filter to show you all the listings that are up for sale. You can then change it from low to high to see highest last sell. That will then show you the NFTs which have sold most recently for the most amount of money. And we can see that this one right here is on sale for 69 Ethereum, which is a lot of money. So if you're wondering, well, why is this one 69 Ethereum? And why is this one 12? Why is this one 14? Why are people pricing their NFTs so different? Well, we can actually go onto this NFT right here. And if you scroll down, there'll be a section right here called properties. If you expand this, it will tell you exactly what properties this NFT has. 
And as you can see, it says it is a legendary NFT and just 0.26% of all NFTs in this collection are marked as legendary. So if you manage to buy a legendary NFT, you can sell it for a lot of money. As you can see, this one in particular is going for $197,000, which is absolutely insane. So at the whole collection, only 0.26% of them are marked as a legendary. If we go back to the main collection page, you can see, remember, there are almost 8,000 items in that collection. If you're lucky enough to get a rare one, you can definitely list it on OpenSea and make a lot of money. And don't worry, as I'm going to show you later on in the course with real-time walkthroughs, exactly how you can buy some of these NFTs using a strategy we call whitelisting. You can then get them super cheap and list them on OpenSea on the marketplace and actually make a really good profit. This is exactly what I have been doing and I'm going to give you some examples as well. But essentially, the main aim of this video is just to show you the OpenSea Marketplace and how it works. We have a few different options at the top. So if you don't know the name of a project or a collection you are looking for, you can simply go to Explore and then go to All NFTs. That will then show you all of the NFT collections on the Marketplace. You can then filter them by high to low, buy now, specific collections. You know, again, maybe you do know the collection you're after. You can also break them down by chains as well. So this is the exact chain which the NFT project has been built on, which by the way, the majority of them are going to be built on Ethereum as that is the most popular blockchain for NFTs at the moment. But you can essentially come in here and start to browse these NFTs and see if something catches your eye. Another really cool tip you can do is you can go to stats and then go to activity. And what this will do, it will show you all the transactions which are happening on the whole of OpenSea. So we can see it was literally 1.33 seconds ago, or it's going up because this is live. We've got 42 seconds, 43, a few seconds ago, a minute ago. This is literally all transactions coming through the marketplace right now. So if you're ever struggling to find a project which you think may be a good project to get involved in, you can always have a look at the activity tab under stats and have a look at what people are buying right now. If you manage to see that a lot of people are buying the same things, all NFTs within the same collection, you can then click that collection, investigate and find out what's going on. Which again, I'm gonna be covering all that analysis later on in the course. I just wanted to give you an idea once again of how to use OpenSea. Another reason why OpenSea is really, really good is because if you go back to the homepage and scroll down, they have a really comprehensive help center, lots of FAQ questions in there. If we go to the OpenSea help center right here, you can see they have a whole section just for getting started, lots of FAQs in here. If we go back and then go to, if you're buying an NFT, again, we have a whole NFT drop down section. The same applies to selling your NFTs, Lots of questions and answers, which just makes it really, really user friendly. As you're going to see in the next video, when I show you some alternatives to OpenSea, you're going to see that they don't have that much support. So if you are a beginner, they're probably not going to be the best fit for you. However, like I said, OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace out there. If you are serious about NFTs, then this is the best marketplace for you. And just before I end the video, the one last thing which I want to show you, which also makes this one of the best platforms out there, is they have loads and loads of wallet connections. For those who don't know what a wallet is, don't worry as I'm going to go through that in the next section of the course in great detail, but essentially a wallet is where you store your digital currency. So you need to use your digital currency, Ethereum, to actually buy these NFTs. And when it comes to connecting your wallet to OpenSea, we can click this icon right here and you can see they have lots and lots of options. They've got MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, Wallet Connect, Formatic, and you can even click show more options and see what other wallets they have as well. They've got lots of wallets for you to pick from. So it doesn't matter where you have money already. You know, maybe you've got money in one of these wallets and you're wondering, can I use OpenSea? Well, yes, you can, as they accept lots and lots of wallets. Now, again, don't worry if you don't know what any of this means. I'm gonna cover this later on in the course, but this is just to show you it already works with all of the leading wallets on the marketplace. That's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one.